prove that theory as a pack this weekend? Yeah, obviously it's a massive area. Um, it's going to be a, a huge factor in the game tomorrow, and it's something that um, you know we're really confident with. Um, we've, we've trained hard at it, and um, and especially this week. Um, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to the challenge to be honest. And um, like I said, um, it's going to be a, a big area, one that we need to make sure that um, we get right. Okay, finally, for me, can you shock them a bit? They'll probably see a couple of unfamiliar faces to them in in your pack and think that you know you're there for the taking. Do you think you can shock them? Yeah, I certainly think we can. Um, I think we've got great uh, strength in depth in, in this country, and um, you know we're looking to go and prove that tomorrow. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks. Jerry Langton, please. Yeah, hi, Courtney. Just uh, going back to the World Cup final in 2019. I mean, how much does that defeat still haunt you? And are you leading England on a, a, on a revenge mission in Twickenham this weekend? Um, I wouldn't say, from a personal standpoint, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a revenge mission. Obviously, um, you know, it's a, it's a, it was a big loss for us. Um, but at the same time, I think that uh, in the World Cup, we did ourselves proud and um, we've certainly come a long way since, since then. So um, I think... We're not really focusing too much on South Africa. It's more about us and, and what we can bring. Obviously, we have to be very aware of their strengths. One of which is, um, you know, their forward pack and, and the set piece. Um, but but really, we're focusing on us and, and what we can do to, um, you know, to to show them some new stuff as well. Have you ever watched the World Cup final again? And and looking back, where do you feel it went wrong? Um, I haven't actually watched it back, but obviously um, at the time that the set piece was the big one, um, scrum especially, and then that leads into line outs and malls and stuff like that. So, um, like, like again, I've said um, the set piece is a huge area for them. It's one of their massive strengths, and it's something that we're going to have to make sure that we uh, we front up in. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, Alex Hi, Courtney. Um, it's pretty clear from what you're saying and what Eddie's saying that the mindset in the squad is is no backward step on Saturday. But Eddie's also talked about the, the need to box clever, to apply pressure in ways that aren't just physical. Um, when he did that with Japan 2015, he had four months to prepare for it. Have you been able to polish those, that sort of little box of tricks in, in, a, in the space of a week in order to be able to test them, I guess, mentally as well as physically? Um, well, well, really, it's just a continuation of what we've been building on um, already. So it's not a huge leap. Um, obviously, um, we're going to have to show some new things um, and challenge them in different areas. We don't just want to play into their strengths because uh, we want to play into our own strengths. Um, and, and yeah, that, that's hopefully going to make the difference at, at the weekend. When, um, when you all came back from the Lions tour of New Zealand, Eddie asked you all to sort of provide him with a, a dossier of of things you've learned from that experience, how much has he asked you to do the same from this summer's experience in South Africa and and, and, and apply some feedback from out there that you can use this weekend? Yeah, yeah, obviously um, we, we learned a lot on tour in the summer and uh, we tried to bring that back and, um, you know, apply that into, into this team and in, into this game specifically uh, because we need to know what we're up against um, and I think we've got a really good grasp of it. Uh, we've trained well this week uh, with a great group of lads. Honestly, I um, think, think the whole team has really brought in and, and contributed this 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 whole three uh, three four weeks we've been together. And um, hopefully at the weekend we we get to express um, not just you know the the fifteen on the pitch, but the uh, the contributions of of the entire team. And so, did you all sit down and have a meeting about? those lessons and, and, and can you just run through one or two things that you were able to contribute from your own thoughts about the summer? Um, yeah, we, we had a meeting at the start of the week and just to put a game plan together really, um, so I can't say too much about it, but essentially South Africa know exactly what the strengths are um, and if you, if you want to stand a good chance of beating them, then um, there's times when you're going to need to front up and, and challenge them and there's times you're going to want to play away from them. So, um, if you go into the into the game just wanting to play their game against them, you're probably not going to come off um, on top, and not many teams do. So um, you have to go there with not necessarily um, anything different, but you have to make sure that you you stick to your strengths and and don't play into theirs. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, if we don't have any other questions, we'll finish the live section there.
Did, I just did, want to ask, can I ask one other thing? Sorry, Courtney. Um, Tom Curry was talking about you the other day and talking about how you're a very calm, calm figure. He said he gets a bit excitable and you're quite calm. <laughs> is that what is going to be needed this weekend? You're obviously all going to have to commit to it physically, but are you going to have to set the tone for keeping composure in the midst of all that sort of chaos? Um, yeah, well, I mean, there's, there's times for both, isn't there? Um, we're certainly going to need energy, um, and a lot of boys bring a lot of that, but there's going to be times where we need calm and we need to be able to, uh, we need to be composed and able to figure out, you know, what, what's the next, what's our next action. Um, so we've got a good balance in the team um, and we just need to make sure that we, uh, we use uh, each other's kind of strengths um, at the right time. And we've probably only got time for one more, so Johnny will come to you. Thank you. Uh, just, Courtney, just a quick one on the, on the captaincy. Was the captaincy ever an ambition of yours? Um, did you ever kind of dream of being England captain or is it just something that kind of come to you? Um, I can't ever say it was an ambition, no, because um, I'm just quite happy contributing how I, how I contribute, do you know what I mean? Whether it's um, as a skipper or... Um, helping the skipper or as, as a leader within the group, just helping the team get where they need to go. Um, I'm just happy to, to contribute in whatever way I can. And obviously, um, uh, be, having the experience that I've got um, and being the kind of person I am um, means that I've, I'm, you know, I've been able to step up and, and, and take the leadership, the captain role, and I'm very happy to do it. Do you get a, do you get a better hotel room? <laughs> I've got a pretty good hotel room actually with with Manu, um, but I had that while Faz was skipped. So uh, no, I, I guess no, but I'm I'm happy where I am, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, everyone. We'll end the live section with Courtney there. Thank you. Um, could you press mute? Yes,